Greetings all, it's the DBS Monkey here. Today is the first day of VB Flea for the year. It's 50-ish and sunny, so we thought we'd come check it out. I'm bringing you along. Okay, kids, that was a fun little jaunt to the first VB flea of the year. I'm heading to Pleasure House Point now. I'm gonna be taking <laughs> too much gear, par for the course, but I, obviously I'm gonna be taking the A7 IV with a 16 to 35 to film, and then I have the A7 R4 with the 70 to 200. At this point going forward, I am no longer going to say Rode Wireless Go 2. I'm just gonna say the Rode Wireless Go. I'm also going to stop saying the entire name of the lens. So I'm no longer going to be saying the 16 to 35 F2.8 G Master, or worse yet, the 70 to 200 F2.8 G Master version two. It's just the 70 to 200. The 16 to 35, 24 to 70, my Sennheiser mic, my Rode Wireless Go mic, the A7 IV, A7R4. That's it. By now, you should know what I'm talking about. All right, I'm gonna stop recording because I don't want to kill my battery blathering on in the car on my way there. And we'll see what we find today. All right, this is pretty typical, I'd say. I have not seen a single bird. If I had only brought my A7 IV to film with, and I didn't bring this for birds, they, they'd be everywhere. Every time I turned my head, I'd see another bird. All right, so I spotted the Ibis again. Too far, really, I think, to get anything clear. And I even uh, went into crop mode, and it was still a little bit too far away. So I don't know that I'm going to get anything from that. I did see a, another photographer walking by and she said there's nothing. Going to keep walking. Let's go. So I guess this has turned into a Christmas tree. Although it's not Christmas. But okay. There is now a single red rose. All right, so this was a bust. I saw an ibis a couple of flying birds, one great egret. But they were all too far away to really get any good pictures. And I would say that I would even have had a problem getting anything decent, even if I had brought the 200 to 600. But that's okay, because it's nice out and I'm enjoying myself walking around. There's a bunch of photographers out here right now. They look like they're doing family portraits. I saw that guy earlier. All right. I don't want to disrupt this, so I think maybe I'll walk around. Okay, so I just saw a bird of prey. I know it was a bird of prey. I just don't know what kind of bird of prey it was. It looked from a distance like it could have been a hawk, and it flew over into this clump of trees over here, and then I just started hearing crows going crazy. So they chased it away, and it flew all the way over to the other side, and now I'm just going to stand here with my thumb up my butt and hope that it comes back out and maybe comes this way or at least comes a little bit closer and see if I can't get some shots of it. Maybe I'll take a walk around there and see if I can't find something else. I'm pretty sure that when I was walking out that other path to go around to see if I could find that other bird of prey, I looked up and I saw a gargoyle. It was gigantic and it flew from the top of a tree over here and, and swooped down and I cannot find it. Of course, it's probably using some kind of magical spell on me so that I can't see it. Or it could have flown all the way to the other side of the street, but that's kind of disappointing because I did see it, but I just didn't see it in a place that, that was good for me to, to even try to get a picture of it. I mean, I guess the worst that could happen is it could swoop down and carry me away, but at least somebody would find the camera and it would have film footage of it. <laughs> okay, I guess I'm gonna go look somewhere else and try to find the gargoyle or the hawk or whatever the hell it was.
Uh, sadly, I did not find the gargoyle. I did not find the hawk either. I really didn't get all that much today, and that's okay. Like I said, it's all about the experience, and I came across another photographer, and we pretty much both agreed that there was nothing out there today, but just being outside and walking around and even looking was pleasure enough. That's what I'm going with. Again, I always enjoy myself when I go out here and walk around, but that's pretty much it. I didn't really get to put this through its paces, this being the 7200. There'll be more than enough time for me to, to play around with that. I don't know what the temperature and the weather and all that shit's supposed to be like tomorrow. If, as long as it's not pouring down rain, I will likely go back out and see what I can find. But for now, it is a little bit after three. I'm I'm done with all this stuff today. I'm just going to go home and chill, put my video together, look at some pictures, then just watch YouTube until Sven Gulli comes on. That's it. That's all I've got for you today. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, leave them down below. As always, thanks for joining me. Be sure to like and subscribe. And remember, kids, forward and up.